Okay, so we have here the newest travel tripod from iFootage, the Gazelle TC3B Uprise, and we are going to be talking about this in this video, pero bago ang lahat. Let's roll the intro! Paramount Pro! Hey, what's up guys? Ronald and Charles and Puy. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagbabalik nyo dito sa channel ko. I travel a lot. Not just with my family, pero I travel din dahil sa trabaho ko. And most of the time, I need a tripod that will, one, take our family photos, napakahalaga niyan. And two, get that steady and well-composed shots of the place. And sa trabaho ko din, I usually use a tripod sa mga interviews. Documentaries eh, syempre may mga interviews dyan. And ayaw mo naman na 10 minutes kang nakahawak sa camera mo eh, syempre nanginginig ka na nun. So, I needed a tripod that is, one, small and compact to lightweight and three easy to pack. Pag nag-travel ka kasi ayaw mo nang magdala ng isang malaki pang bag para sa malaki mong tripod na may separate bag nga at uh, napakabigat kasi noon and uh, madalas may iwan mo yon and alalahanin pa siya. One time nga naiwan ko sa Cebu Mactan Airport yung <laughs> yung tripod bag ko. So binalikan ko pa siya. Nasa venue na ako. And I also want to take this opportunity to tell you guys na as a filmmaker, the most important tool that you need to have maliban sa camera mo, syempre, is a tripod. Madalas tong mangyari eh. Marami akong hinahire na videographers tapos ang dala-dala lang is yung, of course, yung camera bag nila, their cameras, and the gimbal. Wala silang dalang tripod. No? Ito yung pinaka-basic tool or accessory nyo kapag ka-videographer or photographer kayo. A tripod. Really, I just want to stress this out to, to all of you. No? Hin kailangan meron kayong tripod. No? Hindi, hindi puro gimbal lang. Yes, handled shots are dynamic. Yes, gimbal shots are awesome. But tripod shots are the universal shots. Meaning, pinakamaraming viewers ang mas makakapag-appreciate ng properly composed static shots. And syempre, yung mga smooth pan and tilts. Ba't ako, ba't ako ganun ng ganun? Mas maraming nakaka-appreciate niyan kaysa sa handheld and gimbal shots. Sa madaling salita, tripod is king. Dahil nga nasabi ko na yan, and as a filmmaker, hindi mo dapat minamaliit ang tripod and you need to invest in a good one. A tripod that is sturdy and will give you peace of mind lalo na sa travel shoots. So I've used so many tripods in the past pero isa lang yung pinaka nagswak sa needs ko when traveling and that tripod is this the iFootage Gazelle TC3B Uprise. And we are going to be talking about this in just a bit, but first, let me give you a disclaimer. Yes, iFootage sent this to me just to test, but they didn't pay me to create this review video, so all of my thoughts and opinions about this tripod will be honest and true. At ngayon na nabanggit ko na yan, simulan natin to. Lagay ulit natin sa box para kung maraming hindi pa natin nabubuksan. Alright, that's it. Natin Out of the box, you get a you get a carrying case. Na medyo medyo lightweight lang siya and pan travel din hindi siya padded. Okay, so don't expect na medyo makapal na na travel case with a zipper and of course your strap right there and you also get paperwork. Now you have your manual here, your stickers. And uh, maybe uh, yon, a warranty card. Uh, meron kayong warranty card. And the stickers, of course. Of course, syempre yung tripod. Kaya nasa loob ng carry in case yan. So now, let's talk about the features. The iFootage Gazelle TC3B Uprise is one of the newest tripods na nirelease ni iFootage early this year. The other one is the Gazelle TA3B Uprise, which is the aluminum alloy version. This one, the TC3B Uprise, is the carbon fiber version. This is the TC3B. The TC3B is a travel tripod dial. It is small and compact. And kita nyo naman, oh, napakaliit. When it's not deployed, it is only 465 millimeters or 18 inches. But when it's fully extended, extend natin. Para, para mabilis lang to extend. Ayan. 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 Pull it out like that. That is 1400 millimeters or 55 inches. Ganyan siya kahaba. Ayan. Napakadaling i-fold na to. 
pag nagmamadali ka, hindi ka may iwanan ng boost. Ayan. So, try natin siyang ilagay sa aking low pro camera bag. No? Ganyan siya kaliit. Kaya siyang kasi siya dito. Ganyan siya kaliit. Hindi ka na magdadala ng extra bag. Kaya siya rin siya dito sa aking KNF Concept Beta 20 liter uh, camera backpack. Kasya din siya dyan. Uh, pwede rin siya dito sa harapan. Yan. Nap Napaka-compact mo nito. So, napaka-ganda talaga for travel. Now, this is a big deal for me, no? Kasi, pag nagka-travel ka, mas gusto mong mag-enjoy. No? Gusto mong ma-enjoy ma yung moment, yung mga lugar na pinuntahan nyo. And, uh, pag nandyan siya, isang bit-bito na lang, nasa camera bag mo na lang. Ayaw mo ng extra bag. No? Napakadaling i-deploy nito to full height. You just have to unlock the buckles sabay-sabay per leg and then extend these simultaneously then lock them one by one. No more than 10 seconds. Ito naman siya pag fully extended. No? Mga, I'm 5 foot 9 and hanggang mga balikat ko siya. So, there. It has four sections and with heavy-duty leg lock system. Hindi siya yung twist and lock na over time na wala na ng kapit. When it comes to weight, this weighs 1.3 kilograms because it has carbon fiber legs. And its max payload is 5 kilograms. The tripod weight is another big deal for me when traveling dahil ang hirap mag-enjoy sa gala mo. No? Pag mabigat yung daladala mo. That's why I got the carbon fiber version. The iFootage Gazelle TC3B Apprise has ergonomic buckle for extra stability and it has three positions or angles. Position 1, your normal tripod setting. Position 2 is for that wider spread and position 3 naman if you want to use it ground level. The iFootage Gazelle TC3B comes with a new Komodo K3 fluid head. And isa to sa mga pinakagusto kong parte nitong tripod na to because it's perfect for video shooting. This Komodo K3 fluid head is small, yes, but it really is a proper fluid head. Sobrang buttery smooth ang panning and tilting movements mo dito. This is one of the smoothest fluid heads na nagamit ko in my entire filmmaking career. Of course, it has a pan knob and a tilt knob. This fluid head also is Arca Swiss plate compatible. And isa pang maganda dito sa fluid head na to is you can fully tilt your camera to shoot top-down shots. And hindi maubos ang mga cool things dito sa tripod na to dahil another cool thing about this tripod also is it has a leveling bowl. So kahit nasa slope or inclined terrain ka, this will perfectly level your horizon. Meron din siyang bubble level para ma-check mo if level ba talaga yung shot mo. Another important feature for me is this. This hook yung nasa ilalim. No? This is where you hang your counterweight. Because this is a lightweight tripod. Sometimes you need to have a counterweight para mas safe yung camera mo from strong winds and mga unexpected bumps. Now I just want to compare the Gazelle TC3B tripod to my Manfrotto. <laughs> be free live no? I hope iFootage is okay with this no? because they didn't get to watch this video before I publish it online so okay lang naman siguro sa kanila yun no? I I've been using this Manfrotto be free tripod no? for 2 years already and this has been my go to travel tripod okay so nakikita nyo naman ngayon na mas matangkad si Manfrotto kaysa kay uh, iFootage pero konting konti lang kung siguro mga teka wait sukatin natin para sure Mas lamang lang si Manfrotto ng 4 inches. 4 inches lang naman. Traveling mode muna tayo. Tingnan natin kung sino mas, may, mas compact. As you can see, mas, mas maiksi si Manfrotto pero mas manipis si TC3B. The Manfrotto B3 Live has a center column. No? Meron siyang center column dito. And the TC3B doesn't have that. Uh, isang ganun na siya. Why? Because it has 4 sections sa kanyang legs. So, meron siyang apat na locks. So it has... 4 sections. 1, 2, 3, 4. Meron siyang 4 sections. Unlike sa Manfrotto B3, it has 3 sections lang. 1, 2, 3. The Manfrotto B3 Live doesn't have that hook here for your counterweights. And the TC3B from iFootage has a hook here for your counterweights. The Manfrotto b free fluid head is smooth. No? But this one is smoother. Napakahalaga nun for video shooting. Mas, mas suabe to. Lalo na pag tilt, kailangan mo ikot to na ang hirap iikot. Minsan, kailangan mo pang ganyan yan. Tapos, gaganyan mo siya para lumuwag. Ah, ang ano lang, 
ang komplikado lang. Pag pinagsabay mo yung pan and tilt, hindi siya ganun ka-fluid. Ka Whereas the TC3B, sobrang fluid niya. Sobrang, sobrang fluid. The Manfrotto B-Free Live Tripod doesn't have that leveling bowl. But the iFootage TC3B has a leveling bowl. This one, para ma-level mo siya, kailangan mo siyang iikot dito and then ganyan. Para lang ma-level mo yung horizon mo. Kaya binaba ko lang siya, no? masyado siya matangkad eh. The Manfrotto B-Free can shoot vertically or this way. Pwede siyang mag-shoot vertically. But the uh, TC3B cannot shoot vertically. Kailangan mong bumili ng separate accessory for you to use this or to shoot vertically. So, hindi mo siya maibabalibag ng ganun. Now, which one is faster to pack? Okay? So, para maipack mo ito, kailangan mong i-extend yung kanyang center um, column and then you have to fold it like so, upside down, pabaliktad. You have to fold this too, and, and this one. So, that's it. So, medyo maraming steps. Pero si TC3B, pare wala na dyan yung camera mo. Ito. Ayan. And that's it. Ganun lang abilis si fold. Lagay mo na sa bag mo. Ito, medyo marami ka pang gagawin. This is easier and faster to use. Now, when it comes to weight, medyo, medyo mismatch ito because this is the carbon fiber version and this is an aluminum alloy version. So itong B-Free ng Manfrotto, meron din siyang carbon fiber. So ito naman may aluminum version din. So papakita ko na lang sa screen kung gaano kabibigat itong dalawang to. The carbon fiber version and the aluminum version. Okay, so now if you're going to ask me which is the better travel tripod, I would pick the iFootage Gazel TC3B. Why? Kasi tungkol dito yung video na to. No, I'm just kidding. This one is lighter and easier to deploy and easier to fold. It has better fluid head and it has a counterweight hook and it's more affordable. Gaya nga nasabi ko kanina, this Manfrotto B3 Live is the aluminum alloy version. It costs 233 US dollars. The iFootage Gazelle TA3B, the aluminum alloy version, costs you 169 US dollars. No? So, mas mahal to. Mas mahal yung aluminum version ng Manfrotto B3 Live kaysa sa aluminum version nitong Gazelle Uprice TA3B. Now, as I've said earlier, the Manfrotto B3 Live has a carbon fiber version and it will cost you 350 US dollars and the iFootage Gazelle TC3B, this one, the carbon fiber version is 229 US dollars. So, mas mura pa rin ito. So, I highly recommend the iFootage Gazelle Uprice if you're looking for the perfect travel tripod that is light compact, easy to use, and affordable. So, wag na kayo Go get your iFootage TA3B or TC3B travel tripod now. Now, that has been my review of the iFootage Gazelle TC3B a price travel tripod. If you want to know more about this tripod, make sure you check out the links below. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell as well. Once again, this has been Ryan Adanshal. Thanks so much for being here and see you in the next video.